This time on a moment of science. The trick inside a trick candle. A moment of science. I'm Chad McChuckerson reporting live from what has to be the worst industrial fire the city has seen in years. I'm just right across the street here. Firemen arrived at Trick Candles Inc. just before 9 p.m. this evening and have been struggling for almost an hour now to put out the inferno. Hold on, I'm, I'm getting word. I've just been told that firemen are minutes away from extinguishing the flames. Good news, they have just put out the fire. Twelve people were trapped in... Oh. The trick candle factory has suddenly and without explanation burst back into flames. Uh, looks like it's out again. Um, oh, no, no, now it's back. It has burst back into flames again. Do you know how trick candles work? When an ordinary candle is blown out, there is always a burning ember left in the wick that causes the telltale smoke to rise from it. When the ember goes out, the smoke stops. However, a trick candle is able to use that hot ember to relight itself. Trick candles have an easy to ignite metal like magnesium added to the wick. Magnesium ignites at a relatively low temperature, around 800 degrees Fahrenheit. And this temperature is below that of the ember. So when a trick candle is blown out, the ember that remains ignites, causing it to spark. The hot spark eventually catches the wick and relights the candle. I'm Mandy Strife, and this has been a Moment of Science. Science. For more interesting science facts, visit our website at amomentofscience.org.